Wait, that was like, we was off? Don't, don't tell me it was up. I hope that Mr. Rufus was okay. That's okay. Okay. If you don't like what I'm doing or you don't want to watch what I'm doing now, that's okay. But make sure you go in and help me with help us grow compassion. Because there is this family. And here from all you see, if you're going to resist, resist with all the love in the world, then someone won't be focusing on that you're resisting. They'll just be feeling the love, and they won't mind. They'll, they'll hear the singing plants inside the objections that you're bringing. And then, oh, this is, I love how brave the plants and the earth and every singing rock, which is every rock ever, how brave they make me feel. Like, when I say brave, it's not even brave, it's just fearless. Because like, why not be playful with whatever's flying so intensely at us? If something is bearing down on us so quickly, it's not meaning to freak us out like the birds out back, the brigandsers, these little adorable ducks on the river out back. That you can go and get the, just out, look out the window for a sec, up into the trees there, the river, the trees, come back, okay, there you go. You can always superimpose it and, <laughs> sorry, <laughs> you're in front of control for your universe, I apologize, oh my god, I'm such a fool. So, um, instead of me thinking that everything has to be a perfect balance, I mean, I'm, I'm so far below. You know how high you'd have to be to get to be a bird? You see how they, they're just flying and they just know what they're doing and how they can land like on a feather on a dime. And those meganser ducks, those are the ones that have been the tufted heads and the green heads of the males and they're joyously just going and having so much fun with their sister and brothers who were just born this spring. And here we are just a couple of days after. Well, now, actually, this is the 50th anniversary of them heading back from landing on so Michael Collins, love to him, because even, you know, even though he never got to walk on the moon, you know he just felt so high that, I wonder, because they, they argue over who actually took that picture of everybody's favorite flag ever, of Earth, right? That picture of, from the Apollo mission from late 68, you know, the first time we ever saw with the, um, Start singing a song out loud that you're going to be glad to tell your sweetheart or your grandkids years from now that you sung out loud today in the streets or on the sidewalk while waiting for a light to change or at the bus stop or waiting for the bus to come. Where did they go? Wait a minute. Oh, here it is. It's there. I mean, nobody needs to be unafraid to look at you or smile at you. People who are waiting, they, they're waiting for a phone call, they're waiting for a bus, they're waiting for the light to change. They would like to see as, in your face something as beautiful as their own kid or parent or sweetheart or grandparent or grandkid or cousin. There. I just think of my cousin who I called last night. I left a I mean, birthday message. Well, I left a birthday message for the day before. But even if it was the day after her birthday, I still want to keep calling it. But I don't know about her. Because she's very, very wonderful. And so are you, whoever's watching this. If someone disappointed you, if they didn't paint you a beautiful picture or sing to you on your birthday or look in your eyes and let you know like how wonderful you are. Don't take that, don't take that personally. Um, everybody would like to see how beautiful and amazing and of love and flowers and singing mountains that you are, but they're, they're having trouble seeing how wonderful you are then they think of whoever makes you feel joyous and jammy and safe, even if they're not alive anymore. There, in fact, if anything, they, if they're not alive anymore, they could probably get together with their wonderful dead friends and getting you to sing to strangers while waiting for that light to change, right? Because the river that we're on here, in May 1874, nobody was asked. People were told you should build the dam stronger, and they built the dam not strong enough, and 144 people died on the river here. And some younger than one years old, a bunch of kids. And um, this is the only factory that was rebuilt. Um, this was the only building that was rebuilt. All the other ones were down in Holyoke, the 
flatlands, and this is the only one in the hill towns that was rebuilt within the next two years. And we're probably coming to the end. It's like Miracle Hanukkah battery. The battery might die any second. So when it dies, when this, when this shot ends, just think of who you'd like to paint to and sing to and plant flowers for. Oh, the miracle, the rain just came in yesterday and today finally because we've been waiting the last two weeks for like a decent rain. All the flowers, all the plants were getting, well, I won't say they were getting sad. Some of them were getting overwhelmed. Some were dying. But maybe some amazing revivification. You know, all those plants that North planted that I was been watering every day. And, um, you know, they got so happy yesterday and today. Or whenever I go out to plant them, or whenever I go out to sing to them. There's the copper again. This is the one I accidentally stepped on. And then wait for it. Here's the burnt umber. Again, we're all, everybody ever is brown. So if you think you're white, you're not white. And just think of what you looked like 80,000 years ago when you were living in East Africa, even if you think you're white. Um, um, oh, buddy. This, Everybody should have family. I, mean, I was going to say, I was going to be double negative. Nobody's not your family, but the thing is, everyone is your family. So wherever you turn, go on. I know this is a little upset. This is, oh, wait a minute. Here, come on. Let me end this one here. So Earth is family. I went over this when you, when you videoed last week. I've got some of this here. 